In this episode of Sound Builders, we visit Diego Stocco. He's an Italian sound designer and film composer who lives and works in Los Angeles. He's been known to build instruments out of trees, sand and stones, but this time he's going to try something completely different for us. Hey Jordan. Hey Diego, hi. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Home. Thank I'm you doing very good. much. Doing good. Oh, this is your spot here? Yeah, that's the tree, the musical tree. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. There was actually a guy writing me, said, uh, I wanted to let you know that from a botanical point of view, <laughs> what you did was great because it stimulates the growth uh, of the lymphatic, whatever. It, it gave me a, a technical explanation. Oh, really? Yeah, and I was happy to hear that because there was a bunch of people accusing me of beating the tree. They said, oh, you've been <laughs> too violent with the tree. How do you actually make those videos? Uh, it's very simple. Uh, I, I really don't have any professional equipment, so my wife helps me with the uh, cameras. We use two small cameras and then I edit everything in uh, Final Cut Express <laughs> and, and I just put it together. What are we going to be working on today? What's today the... we are going to try a different instrument that I never built before. It's just an idea that I had. Do you have all the stuff that we need here? Uh, no, we need workshop? to go. We need to go buy some stuff because uh, it's a new thing. So we, I guess we can just go yeah. to Home Depot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we need to find the metallic uh, bars uh, and poles. There must be a section for metallic stuff here. And it, oh yeah, this is not even too hard to, to pierce. I'm gonna go with this. You, you hear? Yeah. It's great. I know I need something else. Where's the nut and bolt uh, section? I don't think it's here. Three, eight. Just in case there's like, this is where you find the hard to find hardware. Three, eight, three, it's done eight. Because now it's no longer hard to find. Oh. Well, uh, okay, here we go. We just, I'm just gonna buy this. So what's the, what's the plan once we get back? Okay, the plan when we go back is to eat some pasta because I'm starving. <laughs> 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 and then uh, right after that, uh, we'll just set it up and we'll start building it basically. You have, you have a pretty, pretty loose recipe, so to speak, for uh, yep. your instruments. Is it like that when you... No, it? the pasta, it's like... Uh, you gotta be Italian to understand these things. <laughs> <laughs> When you've been working with the instruments in nature, from sand and and the trees, what? How do you decide to, to make that jump? Like how do you decide to record that? I started doing sounds out of uh, common noises that I was just hearing around me. Then I moved into creating custom-built instruments, and then recently I started doing things with organic sources, things like you know trees, sand, and everything. How, how do you find that has influenced you going back and, and building instruments out of you know, consumer products or something from Home Depot? Well, it depends because um, uh, everything you learn from these kind of experiences can be brought also to the other dimension. If you happen to find a very cool technique, a, ver a recording technique that works well with a tree, it might work well also with another instrument. Where are you going to be building this? Right here. Right here, right on, <laughs> yeah. the, on the dining table? Yeah, we just move this stuff and uh, we'll just do it here. Oh, I'll, I'll take some of this okay. stuff away. Took a little break for lunch and now we're getting down to the business of building. But uh, it's interesting that Diego has, doesn't measure anything. I thought, I thought it, would, it would be a lot more technical and measuring involved, but no, we sort of found the pieces of uh, earlier today and now it's just all being thrown together on the spot. I started with the, um, it's like a mini organ thing when I was six. Then I went to the conservatory when I was 11 and I got kicked out uh, when I was 12 because uh, I basically got admitted with violin, which I hated when I was young. And so one day I just saw it in half. I put it on the table, I saw it in half. I went to school 
and the teacher told me, what are you going to play today? I said, nothing, because look what happened here. <laughs> Is that the first time you traded an instrument badly? Man, the that, that was the one? first time really badly. And after that, my dad lost any faith in me, basically. <laughs> Is that you're not going to do any good in life. Just let me know if you need me to do anything, Diego. Yeah, uh, could you pass me the green pencil that it's there? I'm not what you would call a handyman at all. <laughs> That was awesome. There always have to be a little mistake, a little something. Gotta take your licks in small doses. Yes. <laughs> Man, the, the hole is not centered. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. It's melt. You need to punch <laughs> it out. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. You see, the, the, the perception of music, it's very personal. Something can be musical to you. Uh, Brian Eno, okay, does ambiences and stuff, okay? Those are musical to me. They might not be musical to someone that is, you know, crazy with country music, you know, because there's no country music in that. Well, it depends what, it, what music is for you, because if you think this is not pop music, no, it's not pop music, it's not rock, it's not anything. And um, so the way I approach this, this thing, it is very, no expectations at all. If it turns out to be nice, great. If not, I'll just move to the next experiment. What do you think you're gonna call this one? <laughs> I was thinking the same like an hour ago, I don't know. It's not finished, I'm, I'm, but I'm finishing it. I'm gonna connect the rest of the strings, the, the other two strings, and then tomorrow we'll, we'll try to mic it in the studio, and I also wanna try to connect it to a amp guitar simulation to hear what kind of sounds uh, I can get with a little distortions or other effects. But I'm happy so far. It sounds interesting. It sounds different than what I did before. Good morning. Good morning. So this is the thing, the way it looks now. You have the, the tuning packs right at the top. Then uh, these are frets. Like a bass, you know. Then you have uh, the cello bridge right here, which is connected to the plate. It's basically a simple idea. It's not really complicated. Play some screws here like that. So have you got reverb on this? I have reverb, I have a amp simulation. It can really create this it sounds like animals or anything. Okay. Do you mind if I have a go? Of course you can! All right, what, what effects? Can I get... Oh, you just hold it like... Can, I, get, can I just get some reverb, maybe? Yeah. No, no delay? To make these kind of sounds, you have to play with a lot of different sources, okay? Here you have in the, in the same instrument, if you want to call it instrument, a lot of different things that uh, makes it more easy to play. Uh, when you hear these sounds with the right level, with the right scene and everything, they start to make more sense. You see, if you get close enough, there's sounds everywhere. Thank <laughs> you. 